sitting here watching this with me because he has never seen it and he wants to know why I'm making him dance. So, hello guys. Today, in honor of Maleficent 2 coming out, we are going to be taking a look back at my favorite Disney movie, the 1959 Walt Disney classic Sleeping Beauty, where Maleficent started. Maleficent will also probably always be my favorite Disney villain as well. And the lady that voices her, her name is Eleanor Audley. I don't think they could have picked a better person to voice her. Her voice is flawless. <laughs> don't know if you know this, but she also voiced the evil stepmother in Cinderella and the bitchy elephant in Dumbo that absolutely refuses to accept Dumbo once Mrs. Jumbo gets taken off. So pretty much she was always destined with that type of voice to always play either a snobby person or a villain. And actually, a couple of years ago, I don't know if any of you even know this, but there was a show called Green Acres, and the main character, Oliver, his mom makes a couple appearances on the episodes. And the one time I was listening to her talk, and I was like, oh my god, I know I heard this voice before. And after a while, it kind of hit me. I was like, oh my god, like, I'm pretty sure this is the lady that voiced Maleficent. So I googled, and of course, it was. Um, but exact, the way she sounds in Maleficent is exactly how she sounds in real life. So, like I said, definitely destined to get typecasted as those type of characters. But I do have a clip that I'm going to show you of Green Acres, and tell me you do not just see Maleficent in person form. So, Is there some place I can get a taxi? Yes, ma'am. Where? In Pixley. Would you like to ride back with us? I wouldn't get back on that horrible thing for all the money in the world. Where's Hooterville? We're right there behind that billboard. <laughs> now, with Maleficent 2 coming out, I know the original live-action Maleficent. It seemed to be pretty 50-50 on whether people liked it or not. Personally, for me, I fall into the 50% that particularly didn't like it. And the only reason I didn't care for it is just how they decided to make her become evil. I don't like the fact that it all was just based on the fact some man broke her heart. I just felt like her being the villain that she is, they could have done so much with that and made it such an interesting story. And instead, it was just based on love. So that was a little frustrating for me. However, I will say that casting Angelina Jolie to play Maleficent was the perfect casting choice. I think she is perfect as her. So in that regard, I have absolutely no complaints. Just the way that they just decided to make her evil. But anyways, so let's get into it. All right, Harold, you ready for this? All right, here we go. The one thing I will say about old Disney cartoons, I love the way they look, like the style and everything. And I know that obviously it took a shit ton of paperwork to make films like this, and that's why they switched to computer animation. And I totally get it, eco-friendly, I'm all about that. However, I just wish some uh, newer cartoons could still look this way because like I said that I just really really enjoy the style of old Disney cartoons Many years had they longed for a child and finally their wish was granted a daughter was born And they called her Aurora Good for you Queen that you actually found a king that really loved you because back in those days If you weren't producing an heir for a couple of years, it was automatically your fault and they would have just had you killed So you know what? Good for you, I'm finding a good one. Hail to the king, hail to the queen, hail to the princess Aurora. Look at that blue horse, I love it. Another thing that makes me appreciate Sleeping Beauty is the fact that she actually has both of her parents. I don't know, I'm trying to think off the top of my head if there's any other princesses that actually has both her parents. Ooh, Mulan. Mulan. I don't know if she's considered a princess, but still, she is like one of two that actually has her parents. I love how both of these kings are total opposites of each other. Like, one's tall and skinny with dark hair, the other one's short and round with light hair. Looked unknowing on his future bride. 
actually realized how much older Prince Philip is compared to Aurora. So, I mean, I'm really bad with trying to guess people's ages, but he looks like he's at about eight. So that means when she was turning 16, he would have been 24. A little questionable. Your Majesties, each of us the child may bless with a single gift. No more, no less. No less would be no gift, so... Little princess, my gift shall be the gift of beauty. The animation during the gifts also. I really love the animation. So I wonder what Aurora would have looked like if she didn't get this gift. Like, was she supposed to be ugly? But then when she is beautiful, they can't say it's because of the genes of the king and queen. It's like, oh no, you, you just got the, the gift of it. So we don't really know what you were going to look like, but it probably wasn't going to be good. So we fixed that. You're welcome. Didn't even require any plastic surgery. My gift shall be the gift of song. And I guess she would add an ugly voice too. Get ready, Harold. Get ready. Here she comes. Here she comes. Here she comes. That is the way to make a grand entrance. <laughs> Quite a glittering assemblage, King Stephen. How quaint. Even the rabble. Ah, oh, that voice. I just love that voice. <laughs> I really felt quite distressed at not receiving an invitation. You weren't wanted. God damn it, guys. Couldn't just send her an invitation, really. You invite everybody else except for that one person. So, you fucked up. You fucked up. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! I mean, if I was the king and queen, I definitely would have been scared shitless of her. So I would have been like, no, 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 no. We definitely sent you an invitation, but uh, you live up on the Forbidden Mountain and you know, the post office isn't always reliable going up there, but no, we definitely sent you one, but I don't know what happened. I'm so sorry. And to show I bear no ill will, I too shall bestow a gift on the child. Oh, I'm sure this is gonna be the well, best gift ever. All of you. I don't know why, but I absolutely love when that staff hits the ground. I'm probably the only person that is so fascinated by that, and it's like my favorite like cartoon sound, and I don't know why, but seriously, like let's just listen to it again and tell me it's not a cool sound. Before the sun sets on her 16th birthday, she shall prick her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel and die. Yeah, let's wait till she totally puts the curse on before you do anything. I love how these guys are just standing like that. Then she can undo this fearful curse. Oh no, sire. Maleficent's powers are far too great. I wonder how the magic works in this, because they can't just undo it because it's too powerful, but they can manipulate it. Just wondering how that works. But King Stephen, still fearful of his daughter's life, did then and there decree that every spinning wheel in the kingdom should on that very day be burned. How are anybody in your town supposed to make clothes now if you literally took away the biggest thing to make clothes and you pretty much wiped out an occupation? So, King Stephen, I think you might want to start giving some of your people unemployment. But also you have to know that Maleficent is magic and she can probably just whip one up. She probably doesn't need a legit one right in front of her. Oh, silly fiddle Silly fiddle Now, come have a nice cup of tea, dear. Well, a bonfire won't stop Maleficent. Of course not. But what will? Well, perhaps if we reason with her. Reason with Maleficent? Oh, I'm sure. Just explain it. It was just a misunderstanding. Yeah. She'll understand. Mm, I'd like to turn her into a fat old pop toad. Now, dear, that isn't a very nice thing to say. She's like the most evil person ever and literally just put a death curse on the princess and you think it's mean because all Meriwether wants to do is turn her into a hop toad. 
Come on. I'll turn her into a flower. Maleficent? <laughs> no, no, dear. The princess. Don't you see? A flower can't prick its finger. Until Maleficent sends a frost. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my God. Of all the things to do, nice we're just going to take out the flowers. You're right. And she'll be expecting us to do something like that. Oh. Well, what won't she expect? She knows everything. Oh, but she doesn't, dear. Maleficent doesn't know anything about love or kindness or the joy of helping others. See, right here is one of my biggest problems with the live-action Maleficent because in this movie, they literally say that she's not capable of love or kindness or helping others, and literally the whole live action, that's all she does, because she pretty much stops Aurora from death multiple times and ends up, you know, loving her. So, oh, it's just, it's really frustrating. I just wish they could have came up with anything of why she became evil. Like, I don't know, have Satan have created her for some reason, but literally not because of a goddamn broken heart that, oh, oh, so frustrating, so frustrating. But anyways, that's my rant. All right, continuing on. That's it. Of course. It's the only thing she can't understand and won't expect. I don't know. If I was Maleficent, I would expect that more than turning the princess into a flower. Because that's just me. Turn around. I really don't think she likes Meriwether too much because she turns her uniform pink, but not the green one. I don't know. I think there's some tension there. I just don't know what it is. If humans can do it, so can we. And we'd have our magic to help us. That's right. No, 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 no. No magic. I can learn to drive a stick car. They can learn to cook and take care of a baby. Which I literally just learned how to drive a stick, and I'm so excited about it. We must tell their majesties at once. Flora! Flora! I love how she doesn't even hit the ground yet, and they already are just assuming that she's going to forget about them. Flora! Flora! So the king and his queen watched with heavy hearts as their most precious possession, their only child, disappeared into the night well you guys got 16 years to start popping out more kids get on it it's incredible 16 years and not a trace of her she couldn't have vanished into thin air Maleficent, this is your fucking fault after you put the curse on you weren't like waiting outside the castle to see if maybe they tried to hide her you're just like no she'll just stay in the castle just saying, maybe you should have watched to see what happened. Are you sure you searched everywhere? Uh, let me see. Uh, in all the cradles. Cradle? I do love that they couldn't process the fact that she was going to get older. I do think that's pretty funny. All these years they've been looking for a baby. Oh! Oh! Here is a word of advice. If you work for somebody, particularly somebody evil, and you royally fuck up, and they start laughing, they don't think it's funny. You better just run like hell. Holmes! Idiots! Imbeciles! Oh, there's that stuff again. My last hope. Poor Maleficent, she probably doesn't have very many options of people to work for. Search for a maid of 16 with hair of sunshine gold and lips red as the rose. What if he would have found another 16 year old that had blonde hair and red lips? <laughs> and they totally thought it was Sleeping Beauty. This bitch does not look 16 at all. We want you to pick some berries. That's it! Berries! Berries? Lots of berries! But I picked berries yesterday. Oh, we need more. Still a little mind-blowing that the last day of the prophecy and they're 
leaving her by herself. I don't know. I would have security on her, or just eyes on her 24-7 at this point. I'll get the wand. Yes, you can. The wand. But you can't sew, and she's never cooked. Oh, it's simple. I'm kind of curious how they survived for 16 years. That you would have thought at some point they would have known how to bake or cook basic stuff. And obviously all the spindles were burnt, so how were they making clothes for Aurora? Because I don't think there's stores you can just go to during these times. That actually would have been funny if the fairies were trying to cook for her and they ended up killing her with like salmonella or something. Sorry, king and queen, I know you're we supposed to take care of your princess, but we kind of killed her with our cooking. But on the bright side, Maleficent wasn't the one to get to her. It looks awful. That's because it's on you, dear. She, she hates Meriwether. She's so mean to her. Oh god, when I was younger, I really thought that if I went outside and sang, that the animals would come to me. And, I mean, you guys heard my phenomenal singing voice, so you can only imagine to my surprise when I'm out there singing and none of the animals are coming to me. Like, it's bullshit. I'm just saying, total bullshit. Guess if I was alone by myself all the time, I'd probably have to sing to myself as well. You hear that, Samson? What is it? Come on, let's find out. I love how Samson's like, fuck this shit. He's like, I'm tired of trying to help you find booty calls every time you hear a random woman singing in the forest. I'm done. Oh, come on. Or an extra bucket of oats? And a few carrots? Are you bribe me. No carrots. How is that Samson's fault? Because you couldn't stay on him. This, this is why he doesn't want to help you with the booty calls. Because you're a dick. You are a dick to Samson, Prince Philip. I love how the squirrel sees clothes and he actually sees somebody throw a hat up there. So he knows there's someone there and she's talking about how lonely she is. So instead of like trying to get him to come over, they're just like, oh no, 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 we're good enough. There, stop. Damn animals stealing my clothes again. Oh my God, this is why I don't go into the forest, Samson. No, I'm really not supposed to speak to strangers, but we've met before. All right, Harold, break time's over. It's time to start dancing again. I know you. I walked with you once upon a dream. I know you. The king in your eyes was so familiar a gleam. God, Prince Philip, could you have made any creepier of an entrance? I didn't mean to frighten you. Really? Oh, it wasn't that. It's just that you're a... And he keeps, like, grabbing a hold of her hand. Prince Philip, no. Don't you No, stop it. We've met before. We have. This is probably why Samson gets so annoyed with your booty calls, because you're so creepy, you just scare off all the women. Stop it. I walked with you upon a dream. But if you try that method a hundred times, eventually it's gonna work. Clearly it did on Briar Rose slash Aurora. It's only because she's so desperate for a friendship, so you got lucky on this one. Hi! But when will I see you again? Oh, never! Never! Never? Well, maybe Sunday. When? Tomorrow? Oh, no! This evening! Where? I love how she literally goes from, you're never going to see me again, to, well, maybe someday. Then, I think she literally just had the revelation, like, you know what? It's my fucking birthday, so tonight, I want to see you tonight, because I am 16, and I am horny. Um, what 
you think of the dress? Well, it, it's... Uh, I think we've had enough of this nonsense. <laughs> I think we ought to think of Rose and what she'll think of this mess. Meriwether's the only reasonable one. Can't take any chances. Did you really just stick the rags, like, to the window and that no, just stayed? You take care of the case while I clean the room, dear. See? Once again, the bitch to Meriwether just no, makes her do the cleaning. And now to make a lovely dress fit the grace of fair princess. Yeah, because that shit you had definitely was not going to do it. No, not pink. Make it blue. I like Meriwether getting passive-aggressive. This is actually one of my favorite scenes in the movie. I love how between the three of them, none of them could notice that the, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, magic dust, fairy dust is just shooting out of the chimney like that. It almost seems like the way that's coming out, like they would literally have to be standing right in front of the chimney, just like. <laughs> I really wish the raven would have turned pink and blue because it changes things the color. So I don't know why the raven didn't get that. Now look what you've done. She's in love of It's impossible. How could I marry a prince? I'd have to be a princess. And you are, dear. Princess Aurora. Tonight we're taking you back to getting the lax again, step making step sure all security is not up. But I can't. But you must never see that young man again. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> I don't know if I've ever cried that hard for somebody that I knew for two whole minutes. To the future. Right, Hubert. To the future. Oh, that's definitely me. <laughs> scumps, scumps, I can never figure out what they're saying. Like, the only thing I can come up with is scumps. What the fuck is a skunk? I don't know, I'm gonna have to Google this. Ooh! See? Just gets me all worked up because I don't know what a fucking skump is. <laughs> Still me. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> I said I met the girl I was going to marry. I don't know who she was. A peasant girl, I suppose. A peasant girl? Oh, not a peasant. No, 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 no. Oh, where did I go wrong as a father? Oh my god. Mary, I won't have it. You're a prince, and you're going to marry a princess. And you're going to marry a princess. Sorry, I couldn't really do the full circle like he did. <laughs> And marry the girl I love. Exactly. Goodbye, father. Goodbye, father. Why did... Oh. Never mind. I was like, what was the point of Prince Philip going to the castle just to turn around to go right back to the forest? But I guess it was to forewarn his dad. Okay. Sorry. A little slow there. Why do they take her to the castle tonight? And not only that, they take her to the most unoccupied part of the castle. You think you would want her surrounded by many eyes as humanly fucking possible. Personally, if I was the king and queen, I'd be like, take her straight to me. <sighs> bolt the door, Meriwether. For now. Yep, because a bolt will keep Maleficent out. And now, dear, if you... Oh my god, get over it. Let her have a few moments alone. Yep. Leaving her alone again. Listen. Maleficent. Rose. 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 Oh, why do they leave her alone? Oh my god, we left her alone. Touch the spindle. Touch it, I say. You poor, simple fools. Thinking you could defeat me. Me, the mistress of all evil. Well, here's your precious princess. 
See, she even calls herself the mistress of all evil. Somebody with that title would not just turn evil because of a broken heart. Once again, just saying. We're all to blame. <laughs> yeah, yeah you are. You had one job, one fucking job. Put them all to sleep until Rose awakens. I am curious to how the, um, when they put them to sleep. So, do they still age? Is time kind of stopped? Because imagine if you were like 20 years old, and then it took like 20 years to undo this curse, and then you wake up and you're 40, I would be like, fuck you bitches. You just wasted 20 years of my life that I'm never going to get back because you couldn't keep eyes on the fucking princess on the last day. Yes, I'm said I'm gonna get laid. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. I set my trap for a peasant, and lo, I catch a prince. I, mm, mm, mm. Actually, do you know what I never thought of? The fact that... Mm, 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 mm. The fact that Maleficent wouldn't, as far as she knows, the princess is dead because she put a death curse on her. So I don't know why she'd be trying to capture Prince Philip and how she knows about the true love kiss. Did somebody tell her about that? Maybe the maybe maybe in the 16 years the post office actually got better with going to the Forbidden Mountain and somebody sent her a letter saying, "Hey, just so you know, your little curse has been altered. So even once you get her, it's not fully done." Like who fucking told her? I never once thought of that in my entire life. How does she know? Yeah. Ha! You know what? Melissa, this is why I love Maleficent, because she knows everything. Except for love. Except for love. That live action is bullshit. I'm officially done hating on the live action, and I will not talk about her broken heart ever again from here on out. I'm done. I got it all out. Maleficent! She's got Prince Philip at the Forbidden Mountain. You would think when they're going to the Forbidden Mountain, which is pretty dark, that they would go a little incognito because pink, green, and blue is definitely going to stand out. Look at him stroking that. My god! <laughs> I think more than just Aurora and Prince Philip need to get laid in this movie. The years roll by, but a hundred years to a steadfast heart. Think about it, this is how truly sinister Maleficent now, is. Instead of just killing him and then problem solved, like, no, I'm gonna keep you alive, to just make you way. suffer for years and years Off and years and years rise, until you're old, and then I'm gonna set you free, because I just like to taunt you. And tall, She's pretty bitchy, you gotta give it to her. Like, she is, is like an evil Disney kiss. villain. <laughs> why you, you, you. Oh, I why do people do that? Why Wait, Prince Philip. The road to true love may be barred by still many more dangers which you alone will have to face. That's one of the things that actually annoys me about Prince Philip is because she's like only you alone can face. But if it wasn't for the fairies, he would have died, like, multiple times. So, really, no, it wasn't him. Like, he, he pretty much doesn't do shit this entire time. It's all the fairies. And thyself with this enchanted shield of virtue. And this mighty sword of truth. Son of watch out! See? One instance where he would be dead. Second instance where he would be dead. Third instance that if it wasn't for the fairies, he would have been dead. Fourth time, where I shouldn't say he did absolutely nothing. This is his like one and only contribution the whole time, besides the kiss. How shall you deal with me, O oh Prince? And all the powers of hell! Oh, when I was younger, I, I loved it when she said the word hell. 
You can tell he has no idea what he's doing. He's just like swinging like, oh, hopefully I just get lucky. Thou sword of truth fly swift and sure, that evil die and good endure. So, what, six now? That if it wasn't for the fairies, he definitely would have died there. What if they thought that the, like he was true, the true love's kiss, and then he goes up and kisses her, and then nothing happens, and they're like, oh, sh fuck, we just, what now? Like, we literally went through all that trouble for nothing, and then they just have to wake up all the men and just line them up, and then that way they just go down the line and kiss till one of them works. Which, when you think about it, that's still a less darker version than the real Sleeping Beauty story. If you have not looked up the real Sleeping Beauty story, I do it. I love how Aurora is just totally okay with everything. Like, no questions whatsoever. Has absolutely no questions. Me, boy. <laughs> this poor dad. <laughs> he has to be so confused. I would be like, what the fuck, son? I do love how at the end, uh, how the dress keeps changing color. And visions are so what they see. you do you love me at once a way you did once upon oh. <laughs> it's a long time to hold that one note all right guys harold really enjoyed that movie and now he understands why i was making him dance like that and he was like i will dance with you anytime tasha but anyways, so that is my commentary on Sleeping Beauty. This, I don't know if it's going to be the very first video I post or if I'm going to wait till closer to when Maleficent 2 comes out. But just so you know, this is actually my very first video that I filmed. So, um, please be gentle. <laughs> uh, but please, in the comments, just tell me either what you liked, what you didn't like. Um, what other stuff you would like me to review, um, whether it's a reaction or a commentary. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel because I want to make it all about you guys and what you guys want. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I really enjoyed watching my favorite Disney movie again. So until next time, bye!